G'day, it's Rich McLean. Um, I live in poverty as a scapegoat. Um, it's a difficult life. Um, today I just wanted to talk about HCF Income Assist, my insurer. Um, they've rejected my income protection and now they've banned me from um, even contacting them. I don't have a lawyer, I don't have, have an advocate, and I don't have anyone to stick up for me. Every day I live in poverty is a day that this govern, government tyranny rules. Um, it's not okay that I don't have equality before the law or access to it, and it's not okay that um, I'm diametrically opposed by the police and lots of public officials. Um, my public interest disclosure at DSS was rejected on account of I'm not an employee or a, um, a public official, but I've got a federal court document that says they're satisfied that I was employed with DSS. Um, that should mean quite a number of things. Firstly, that my work cover should be paid because that was rejected on account of I'm not an employee for the purposes of the SRC Act. And um, that was upheld by the government, the government lawyer, Kate Watson, and then defended at the AAT, another government agency. And it's true that the government has become my nemesis. Um, I can't go to police, I can't be a whistleblower, and I can't get a lawyer. So this is all complicated by my relationship with my former partner, Steve Isonides. And Steve Isonides was my fiance of five years, and he worked for ASIO. And apart from the fact that the federal court satisfied I was employed by DSS, so I can make a public interest disclosure, I'm the former partner of a public official, which means under the PID Act, I can absolutely make a public interest disclosure, but mine have been unanimously rejected. Uh, it's Rich McLean. Um, I need some help. Um, I need someone to help me um, get my income assist from HCF when I got ill from work. I need someone to help me with work cover. I need someone to help me um, getting it over the line at any government agency that my relationship with former ASIO agent Steve Isonides actually existed and that he owes me a settlement. And lastly, um, of course, there's the hospital issue of um, my cognitive brain impairment from a suicide attempt that happened inside a hospital. And it's um, whitewashing of the tragedy. Um, to um, all agencies, state and federal, and um, I never ever, ever received a settlement or apology for abandoning their duty of care for me. Anyway, it's Rich McLean. I'm still good, I'm still happy, and I've got my beautiful dog. If you kill her, I'll slit your throat. And um, yeah, I'm just chilling out here. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning to you all. Um, hope you have a great day. And I hope you never have to deal with a government tyranny um, like I've had to because it's brutal, it's malicious, it's systemic and political and it has a name and that's to cause me harm. That harm's already come and then the harm was covered up by the very um, institutions that caused the harm. So um, yeah, it's a difficult road for me but um, I'm hanging in there and hopefully things will all get better soon. Um, anyway, drop me a message or you can email me on richarddrawstuff at gmail.com. Cheers.